about to take you through one of my favorite knots. It is the Lock Blood. Ideal for species such as snapper, brim, King George whiting. Really, really good for tying on a hook or a swivel. And it's a simple knot to tie. Simply take your hook, now obviously this one's a little bit larger than I'd normally use, and get your line, place it through the eye of the hook. Leave yourself a nice little tag, pinch that on the eye of the hook, and simply take your tag and twist it around the main line around six times. So there's three, four, five, six. Now, it's simply a matter of taking that tag and putting it through the hole you've created at the eye of the hook. Slip that through, and the idea of any good knot is to be able to hold it any time with just one hand, because that way you're in control of the knot. Now, this is how you lock your blood knot. That, if I pulled it tight, would just simply be a blood knot. If I get the tag and put it back through that main loop, that becomes a locked blood knot and does the job. Now, before you pull it tight, very important you put some lubrication on the mono. Lubrication will stop the mono from burning. Hold the tag in your teeth. Pull that tight. Give that a good tug and you'll see that locks up just beautifully. And if you tie the blood knot correctly, you'll see that the tag actually sits up at 90 degrees to the main line. That is a beautiful knot. All we do now is take our scissors, cut the tag. Always important to leave a bit of tag there because you don't want that knot if it pulls too tight to slip through. And that is the perfect locked blood knot. No matter what sort of fishing you're doing, if you can tie a locked blood, you're pretty much going to be able to catch almost any fish in and around the country. So make sure you learn how to tie the locked blood knot. It ain't that hard, but it works a treat. Thank you.